What is going on guys? Today we have got rewards and hopefully I'm pretty sure I've done enough to get actually rank one in my rival rewards today. So we've got that. We did manage to finish gold free as well. So that's always good, especially with a decent team of the week. It's not amazing amazing but we've got Mbappe we've got Fabinho they're the two that obviously I'm looking for to start with uh, so we will claim the untradeable rival rewards we get two megas two rare players and four jumbo premium gold so I believe that is rank one we absolutely smashed it this week in rank one so we do get what six eight packs wow okay so we've got eight packs in there and then we do get our foot champs rewards that we'll get straight on into uh like i say gold free this week which is always good hopefully gold two next week we get 30k two picks two megas one rare i'll take it obviously we're going into this week as well we're looking to pick up neymar to link with mbappe hopefully we can get a left wing mbappe in this i'm not expecting it but we'll go we'll go with the first one okay Okay, 82. We'll go with the right-wing Spanish Leicester player as obviously probably the better option for the keeper. I'm not expecting massive from gold free, but we will go for this one. Oh, it's just not great, is it? 82, 82. It's gold free, so I'm not so I'm not expecting massive. You can get lucky, but two major leagues, I'll happily take it over anyone. Uh, we may even give them a cheeky review. You never know, just because they're red. We might even start like a player review in the red form, just to see what I've got over the over the course of FIFA 12. FIFA 12? FIFA 20. And we do have a few packs of what we have. 11 packs today. We'll start with the Jumbos. We'll then move over to the Megas. And then we have three 50k packs. So if I can get two walkouts, I want to say, I'd be pretty happy. I try and see, kind of have a guess beforehand. First one could be something. It's going to be a board. <clears throat> what are we going to get? So we get Argentinian, Benega, Otamende. I'll take it. Obviously, he was a scream, so it's a bit of a bit of a lull. And I think there's things going around saying that um, we're going to get all screen cards in one team. That I'm unsure about. I think that's just kind of speculation, but it'd be pretty good to do that. Obviously, all of this is untradeable, so we will go ahead and whack everything to the club. I think Otamende is normal, so we'll put him up. And Europe as well. We'll even change the manager. Uh, how much are you going for? Are you going for anything? Uh, 750, 300. How much can I discard? Mm, nah, it's not worth the risk. Sometimes you gotta you got to take the coins and not bulk up your, your discard pile. Can we get something in the second? So one board to start with, I'll take it. I'm just trying to bulk the club up a little bit. That's going to be nothing, unfortunately. Um, but we're just bulking the club up. League SBCs are obviously a thing. We've got the Bundesliga and the Chinese League. Who else do we get in this? Obviously, all untradeable again. Uh, we'll get rid of stuff that we really just don't need. Um, and we will whack everything else up. Obviously, Bundesliga is always good. We will not do it yet. Because I'm just thinking, we, we're we okay with the coins, uh, with the, the players at the minute. That can go up for 200 just because it's Netherlands. You never know. It might work. Uh, we'll get rid of everything else. And then we'll move over to the next one. Can we get something big? We want at least two walkouts. That's all I'm looking for. We've had good luck in the week with Mbappe. This is going to be nothing as well. But again, you can get something good. Furlan Mendy is a really good 80 rated player. Unfortunately, we get in Zonzi. French flag, but not Mendy. Uh, and actually, he is absolutely class. So a review will be coming out on him as well. Um, plenty of Bundesliga there. That's fantastic because we're trying to we're trying to finish them basically. We'll get rid of them too. We'll keep the badges just because you may as well um, if they're untradeable. We'll whack everything else up and then we can kind of sort through it and see what we got. So we've got eight packs left, one board, two normal. Come on, let's get at least one walkout out of this. I'm happy with anything, even a scream. I want to see my first scream. That's going to be nothing as well. It's not going great, but we've still got the free 50Ks to kind of keep us going. We get Rule. Um, who I still need to do League Uns icon swaps. Also, let me know down below what you think about your rewards. Uh, let me know who you've got. Did you get anyone absolutely insane today? Or did you get Mbappe? That is the main one. Uh, we'll put him down as we've already got him. You can go up and we will put these guys in the club as well, untradeable. Last year, we ended up with so many untradeable guys. It was unreal. I think by the end of it, when you do all of the weekend leagues, it, it's just worth it in the end. So we've got four Megas and then three rare players. Can we find our walkout? That's what we want. I want my first Scream as well. If one of them wants to be a Scream card, 
This can be something. It's going to be a board at least. I'll take the board. It's going to be Zlatan. Take it. Always take an 85, if anything. We can take Zlatan, and I think oh, this one could be untradeable or tradable. <clears throat> what are we saying? Hopefully it's tradable, but untradable is good as well, because obviously an 85 in the club. It's going to be untradable, so we'll keep him in the club. Uh, who else do we get? We can get rid of them too. Arsenal kit. Rodrigo as well. He can go up. He might sell for a couple of K, maybe a K at the very best. Uh, everyone else is up. Fantastic. We've got the Netherlands badge again, which we know is already untradeable. Um, and we will see if she is untradeable. We may as well. We get the coins off it. 83. Everything makes a difference. We're sitting at, what, 1.4, 1.5. Um, I've still got a few things to sell that I'm really just not going to use. But I'm just kind of waiting my time, building my club a little bit back up. We can't get anything in that. This is... It's not going great. Two boards, 185, 183. We get Pereira, who's actually a really nice right back. For an 82 rated, I do want to get Walker and Cancelo as well to try them two out. But as a, a an 82 right back, not a bad card whatsoever. Um, we've got the guy who missed the penalty as well. Yesterday, if you was watching that, Russia, ugh, nothing really amazing. Loads and loads of kits. And we can move him down and we can move you down as well. This picture looks very blurry. So we move over to the final two Megas and then the three Rares. The three Rares are hopefully going to have to save us if we don't get a walkout in these next two. Like I said, two want to be happy. The Red Picks, not fantastic. This is going to be nothing again. It's just, I know I got Mbappe midweek, but I'd like to see something from this. We've got Maguire again. I've, I did so many of the Chinese League SBCs and... Maguire came up four times, so I know I've already got him. This is the tradable pack as well, so we will just get rid of all of them. Loads and loads of fitnesses to sell when we get um, when the market gets a little bit unsaturated with them, because obviously to start with there was the fitness glitch, which means everyone was keeping them. Final mega, we got three packs after this. Come on, give me one walkout or a scream. If we get two two walkouts or one scream, that's going to be nothing again. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I'll probably put my guest down to one. Oh, hey, Hazard. Packed Hazard. Yes. Probably put my uh, guest down to one walkout, and that's it, really. If we go back to back. Oh, hey, Vasquez in the blue as well. Loads and loads of players coming in. I'll always take players. Uh, we'll get rid of the managers as well. We've got fitness, and we've got three more fitnesses. Uh, we'll keep all of them. We'll keep the kits from now on. Why not? Put all of them up. And we move over to the rares. This is where it's at now. The rare player packs. I believe one is tradable. Two are untradable from, obviously, Division Rival Rewards. Hopefully, we'll get rank one again next week. And it's going to be something. It's going to be a board again. So, we're hoping on the final two packs. French, CM, Taliso, Tadizia, Taliso, yeah. 83, Bayern. Goes into the Bayern SBC, so that's always good. Um, and I think he can link some players as well, especially in my team at the minute. Uh, we get another blue. This is all untradeable as well. Uh, so you're untradeable. You're untradeable. You're tradable. You're tradable. And you're tradable. If there was three, then I would do the um, the gold pack. But because there's only there's only two, I'll leave it for now. So we know, I believe this one is tradable, this one is untradable. So we'll go with this one first, and then hopefully this can be something big. Give me a walkout, come on. It's going to be something. It's going to be a board again. So we, we can't get two walkouts. We at Belgium, left mid, Carrasco. Oh, it's not a good rewards day, to be honest. 83 rated. Our best player so far is Slatan. 85 it's not good. It's very much not good with these rewards. We got 282 reds, which is pretty dead. Uh, do we get anything else? We get another blue and uh, nothing really major. If we get three untradables in this, I'll do an upgrade pack, but I don't think by the looks of it, one, two. Oh, okay, so we miss out on that. We'll put these up and then we'll go ahead and do the final rare players. It's not been a great rewards. It's not been fantastic. We'll open up the final one. It is tradable, so if this is the best pack, definitely give it to me now. I don't see it happening. It's gonna be something. It's not gonna be anything but an inform. 
Yikes. Dutch Cam. It's got to be the um, Netherlands guy as well. Hey, so he does link with a few players, uh, Bergwind, if that's how you pronounce his name, and is it Melon or Malon, the striker from Ajax, I want to say it is, good links with them too, and obviously with the SBC, or the, not the SBC, the um, objective is not bad at all. Unfortunately, it hasn't been incredible rewards, it's been pretty poor, not one singular walkout, which is... Not great, to be honest. Uh, what else? Let's have a look at our club, though. So we do have a lot. We have 3,256 in the club. And obviously, midweek, we did get this absolute gem of a card. And he's currently going for 930, 940. That is absolutely insane. And I don't know. Is everyone else getting... Where, when, when I go on to one. Uh, we go back one because there was one there. Is everyone else getting it where it's like really dark, like it's bolded out, this 707 there? I don't know if that's something they've added or not. I'm not too sure. Uh, but we've got a few decent players. Untradeable-wise, I think we're doing pretty well. We've got Stegen, Ramos, Sterling, Neuer. Um, a lot of good players in the club at the minute. Um, a few decent specials as well. Obviously, Zlatan's joined the lot this week. Um, and I think that's probably about it. Red picks. How many have we got nowadays? So we've got 185. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that it? Six. So we've got six. I'm, I'm debating. I'm debating whether to do. Where is the SBC? I keep going to play because that's where it was last year. Um, I'm debating whether to do one of these later on down the line or not. I'm just unsure with it. I, I kind of like it, but then I like my red picks, even though they're not going to be used. And I like having to see what I actually got. I might keep them all until team of the season because last year I used them in SBCs when before this came out. So I didn't really have loads to do any of these. So I'm debating whether to keep every single red that I've got until team of the season and then just absolutely blow it all because you can't get two of the same red. So that's not an issue. And I'm thinking it'd be a lot more worth it in team of the season. I know it's a long, long way away, but I think that would create better. Imagine doing a video where you could do 10 foot champs upgrade packs during team of the season, especially like BPL time and stuff like that. I think that would be an incredible video. So I'm still working on that. Unfortunately, we haven't got amazing rewards today. Um, we did manage to get gold one. Gold one? No, gold three and rank one. So not bad. Probably my best finish in divisions and foot champs together. And we don't really get anything. So looks like we're going to have to try and get Neymar by ourselves and see how much he actually is. I think he was about 865 when I looked earlier. So I'm probably going to pick him up when he's a little bit lower because I think he was 800 and something before today. Um, and I was hoping that he was going to actually drop. So he's eight. Oh no, I've not clicked it. I was going to say, I was like, wow, he's 850. No, he's just not dropped there. So if we put 862, yeah, he's, he's stayed up there. He's gone up for some reason. Now he's 870. So it means that people are not selling him and people are preparing for the weekend league. So we'll have to pick him up at an inflated pr uh, price. But we're just trying to link him. This is the team that I'm looking at. I'm debating whether to get Fabinho um, as a CDM there. And obviously Mbappe will, will replace Lacazette. Um, and then we do have some super subs anyway. And then just figure out the formation to make that work. Um, the main one really is Wijnaldum as a cam or something along them lines. I might even put him as a CM. I uh, might even put him as the middle CM in a 4-3-2-1. No, a 4-2-3-1. Put De Jong and Fabinho as the CDMs. Um, Wijnaldum as the kind of centre cam. And then Neymar and uh, Dembele as the left and right cam. Mbappe up front. And then potentially swap Mbappe and Neymar every now and then. Just to keep it swapping. Because he looks incredible. Like That car looks sick. And I think Mbappe started off a bit weak for me. Um, personally, I haven't really... I've been bringing him on as a super sub. So that's kind of explaining the record. But hopefully over foot champs, he's absolutely going to smash it for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think about my team that I'm going to bring in the, uh, the foot champs this week. Let me know what you got in your rewards. Did you get anything absolutely incredible? If you did, don't comment. Let me know all your bad picks because make me feel better. This was just in ter it was just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.